here i am telling the 10 things to know about the case horrific kerala women dowry death case the first one vismaya vinayar was found dead inside her house in sastamanna near sastangkota in kollam district kerala on june 21st morning the woman's family has alleged that she was being tortured by the husband over dowry and the second case her death came two days after she sent messages to her cousin revealing to him that her husband had beat her many times over a chair that was given to him as part of her dowry she was married to s kiran kumar who is a native of kollam district and works as an assistant motor vehicle inspector at motor vehicle department they got hitched in march last year and the third case is that as per reports vismaya's family has alleged that she was repeatedly assaulted the threatened over dowry issues ever since she got married vismaya wrote the fourth case vismaya wrote to her messages to her cousin that her husband allegedly pulled back her hair and stamped on her face she also wrote that she hasn't informed anyone about the severe assault yet the image the images acquired from the woman's cousin show injuries on her face hands and shoulder and the fifth case is that reportedly she even returned to her home once but later went to live with her husband and her parents after completing the bams course and the sixth case vismaya was found hanging inside the bathroom on june 21st and the seventh case her family has registered a complaint with the police that it was a murder and that vismaya was harassed for dowry and the eighth case kerala women's commission is investigating the case according to her father the family had given 100 sovereigns once one acre of land and a toyota yaris car as dowry however kiran allegedly wanted cash instead of the car and insisted that vismaya's family sell the car and the ninth case the whatsapp chats between vismaya and her cousin is also being investigated by the police the text messages also alleged that the husband would assault her usually after coming home would kick her in the face and when she fell down she used to press her leg onto her face and the 10th case as per the request of her family the body has been sent to trivandrum medical college for post mortem thank you